I'll tell you something amazing. Valmiki Muni, when uh, he Brahma told him to write the Ramayana, hmm. Brahma ne unko ek vardan diya tha. Brahma told Valmiki Muni that as long as the mountains exist, as long as rivers flow, as long as oceans exist, till that point, Valmiki Ramayana will be celebrated. Wow. So now, when Brahma said that at that point. Obviously, the original Valmiki Ramayana is still there. It's very much available to us. Hmm. But to make it accessible for a modern audience, we need to write it in a way that a modern audience connects with it. Every yuga, at every stage, there have been many authors that have been writing the Ramayana, rewriting the Ramayana, presenting it to that age, that context, that culture. And that's exactly what uh, my humble attempt has been. And uh, what I have been trying to do is, there are so many versions of Ramayana, and there are so many de- detailed understandings of Ramayana. In addition to that, there are many background stories that are not directly in the Valmiki Ramayana, but are there in other Puranas. Every character in the Valmiki Ramayana has background stories to it. Like Dasharat Maharaj, how he got the name Dasharat. There is a story. You know, uh, Kai Kai, her parents, how they behaved. And a lot of hot, what is Kai Kai's mindset today is based on how her mother was thinking. There's a background story to it. Mantra, who is she? There is a background connection to Kai Kai's life. Uh, Shabari. Shabari is a wonderful personality in the Ramayana. But there is a background story how she reached over there and her connection with her guru, you know, Matanga Rishi. Every single person in the Ramayana has background stories. But those background stories are not in the Ramayana. To find those background stories, I'd go to the other Puranas. Mm. So what I have done is that in one place, I have brought all of it together. So I have done the research of studying the Valmiki Ramayana, of studying many other Puranas and many other scriptures. You know, In addition to that, there are many stories that are in the folktale of India, that are preserved in the folktale of India. You know, Like for example, a simple story of Sita Fal. We, we, we hear of Sita Fal as a fruit, right? Custard yeah. apple. Ji. But we don't know well why it is called Sita Fal. There's a story we don't coming know. Uh-huh. We, don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, exactly. So there is a story connected to that, you know. So every single thing, there is a story connected. So what my role has been is bring all of it together. How so lovely. I felt that somebody should do the research of getting all of these amazing things together and tie it up in the storyline of the Ramayana. Tied up within the framework of the Ramayana, as the Ramayana is running, everything that a person might have, why this happened, there's a story. Why Wali is behaving in a certain way, there's a story. Who is Wali's father? The background story is there. Who is Hanumanji? His background story is there. So everything together, in addition to that, I have put in commentaries of different Acharyas. Acharyas give us amazing commentaries of how to analyze every small bit of the Ramayana. Just like Vishwamitra Yajna, Ram goes to protect Vishwamitra and his Yajna, right? Yeah. What is Vishwamitra Yajna? There is an analysis. It is explained that uh, Vishwamitra was performing his Yajna, you know, performing a fire sacrifice. And all the sages were chanting mantras. And uh, while they were chanting mantras, it's the comparison is the uh, Yajna Vishwamitra Muni is compared to the mind, human mind. That's the fire sacrifice. And the sages pouring in uh, ghee, butter into the fire is compared to good people, wise people putting in good thoughts into the mind. Okay. And just like wise people are trying to put in good thoughts into the mind, there are demons who are trying to throw in dirty things into the mind. You know, all the demons, Marit, Subahu and all of them come to attack mm-hmm. Vishwamitra Muni's Yajna. They throw blood and flesh and all the you know, uh, uh, things into the Yajna. Mm-hmm. That is like bad people trying to throw you know, things into our, into the mind and pollute the consciousness of the mind. And Ram and Lakshman are compared to the alert intelligence that prevents the dirty thoughts from entering into the mind and allows the good thoughts to enter into the mind. So this is a commentary that Acharyas have given us, you know. Wow. So what I have been trying to do is my role has been a, a, you know, a simple role of trying to bring all of it together. In addition, my own thoughts and lessons that I, I learned from so many aspects of the mind. So in every book of this, of the Ramayana series, there are at least 200 to 300 amazing lessons that you can learn from, uh, 
from this from the stories so totally we almost have about 1500 2000 lessons to learn from these six books wow yeah. <laughs>